you have a TP-Link router extender that is no longer showing a network, I want to help you fix that issue now. So a lot of times what will happen is, is you'll change your, your username and your password, and then all of a sudden you're not able to read to see a network. So the quick way to fix that issue is to do a reset on the router extender itself. It's fairly easy. Now this particular model is an AC1750, but it doesn't matter what model that you have. So first thing I want you to do is see the, uh, look for a reset button. A lot of times it'll be on the very back of the router. And then once you locate it, make sure you're, it's powered on and it's plugged in and turned on. What you want to do is you want to hold down the reset button for two seconds, let go, and or the reset button actually may be on the side here and it'll be like a little pinhole. It could be on the very back. And what you want to do is you're going to get a safety pin or a paper clip. And then what you want to do is you're going to hold that down for two seconds while it's powered on plugged in. You want to let go of that and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the uh, management app that you have your router on and then from there what you want to do is go to advanced and then what you want to do from there is from advanced you'll see where I'll show on the screen here I'll show where you can actually do a factory reset um, under the app or on the computer whatever you know that you have that should fix the issue go ahead and plug it in and then what I want you to do is I want you to configure the router that you have in your home with the extender and to do that what you want to do is there's going to be a WPS button on your router that you have in your home it's usually on the back hold that down for about five seconds let go it should start blinking because it's ready to pair with the device and then as it's doing that just hold down the this is the WPS button right here some will be located down here and you're gonna hold that down for five seconds and then that should pair the extender with the router let me know in the comments section if this works make sure you subscribe